people that claim that they give about animals and on the same moment eat them. Barbie is so full with shit. And that be so extremely abhorrent to me. That be actually just in my eyes, just the people that uh, say uh, that I love children and rape them. You don't can love animals and eat them. That's a contradiction. That's an oxymoron. There's a nice human shit story. It's a nice oppressor story. Same thing that uh, Nembla, America, Mamlo Boy Society, a group of uh, openly admitting pedophiles say that they love uh, boys. Yes, they love to murder them, rape them, a few don't have to come out. You don't can see something and somebody as a thing and view them also nicely and you also don't can be based for on discrimination based on arbitrary criteria if you oppose Nemla and you eat meat their neck and you claim that you give about animals when animals in the meat dairy and egg industry um, get the same treatments as the uh, get some of the same treatments as uh, pedophiles and molestic majestic monastic molesters uh, do to their victims. Actually, in the Mediterranean industry, the rape animals by analog is rape. Rape is forcible penetration. There are been also stealing, the children be stolen away from them. And you've been responsible if you eat dairy and eggs for that kind of things. These children be put on a field farm or field concentration camp. Because it's also something that the Nazi day in the time of the World War Two put Jewish the Jewish woman have their children in their hands and Nazis rip them away out of her hands. Same thing that we do to our animals. It's not rightly hypocritical to don't to be opposed if it been some. And not being opposed to it if it being something somebody else. So if I say you don't can be based on discrimination, on arbitrary criteria. Mother cows sometimes scream for months for their stolen child to give him back to them. And I can only imagine how you scream when your child being stolen away from you and we put on a concentration camp when they're being five months old these children being then put to concentration for destruction camp slaughterhouse and cut up in billions of pieces and the mothers, if they not can produce enough milk anymore, in most time at the age of four, four, around four, uh, this uh, mother animals been put to concentration destruction camp, um, slaughterhouse, and be murdered and cut in pieces and be sold for cheap meat. For hamburger meat, around something like eighty-five percent, around all the hamburger meat, at least in America, 
big sales to the meat dairy and egg industry. Uh, actually, come from the meat and dairy and egg industry. Something like Ivor Plate. Something like. Ninety-five percent of all the hamburger meat comes from the dairy industry, so it don't harm the last cows. Actually, if you become vegetarian, veganism is the only thing that makes this world a better place. And it is not hard in contrast and contrast with popular dogma, because you will only to give up. To right, eating flesh that you so euphemistically prefer as meat, cow breastfeeding that you so euphemistically prefer as dairy and eggs that be actually the periods of a bird. And stopping with wearing things that come from the skin of other animals that in the first place not belong to humans. Just like human skin also don't belong to uh, cows. Their skin, their fur, their body parts, their milk belongs to their species. Commodification is the crime in any of these atrocities. It is always that the one group thinks that to be more special and more superior than another. That's the problem with all forms of discrimination. And so species is not different. Animals mean not food, just like women mean not punching bags. For their husbands and boyfriends, just like blacks be not slaves for the service of the white men, or or vice versa. They are being for them, for their reasons, for their on this planet. So start to be kind, stop being a hypocrite, and let me extend rights to all innocent beings and stop being a constant hypocritical contract and claiming that some animals, cats, dogs, deserve rights and protection and other animals, cows, pigs, turkeys, have to be executed. This is absolutely unjustifiable and totally immoral. I think maybe you'll find my word hard and controversial. But so find the slave masters in the time of the slavery. The words of the liberationists. So place yourself always in the position of the victims if you choose right from wrong. Because if you not do, it become pretty easily to mock and excuse cruelty, injustice, inequality, slavery, and even murder. When when you be the victim, things look a lot different around that angle. There's no excuse. Peace begins on the dinner table. By what you eat on a daily basis. You don't can pray for peace and then do hypocritical violent things. These cows don't want to be your food, just like you want them not to be their food. Is it not logical to don't want to harm? Is it so hard for humans to be kind instead to be violent? No human group in this damage have to eat animal corpses. If we can put a man on the moon, 
that we would absolute surety we can stop world hunger and we can give anybody a vegan meal. So, st how to stop discrimination and injustice by its rules, by speciesism. Instead that you apply the life circles to it. That's the definition of applying the life circles. Say, people in Uganda, star from starvation. And there is a massacre there happening. That don't mean anything as long as you don't. Go directly to the place and stop it and try to end it. But this is your chance to do actually something about some great injustice. One, two, three times on the day. By what you put in your body. On a daily basis. And what you support. There is no excuse for veganism. Accept it. Make a plea. And move forward. Want you truly to harm innocent living beings, how nothing harmed you once in your whole life. Because then you'll be nothing more than a psychopath. Go vegan. Or don't ask for some respect in return because you don't deserve rights if you're not being willing to extend rights to others. That's not how rights work. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the true become visible. 